Welcome back to the AMC series, the series where I give you tips and tricks on how to live life the most independently as possible with a disability. So today's video topic is what to pack in your bag, disability edition. Just for like going out for the day, just like stuff like that. Not like a sleepover bag or anything like that. We'll do that in another video. Today's video is just gonna be on what I pack to make me feel as comfortable as possible when I go out. But it also depends on the bag that you bring. I usually bring a bag that I could just like put over my shoulder. It fits all my stuff that I need in there. And I hope that it's helpful for you guys, so let's get started. Okay, the first thing I bring is hair stuff. I will bring a clip, a ponytail, or a headband, or all of them. But I bring those because usually when I'm eating out at a restaurant or something, it's very difficult to eat when I have my hair down because it gets in the way. Speaking of eating, I also bring this. <laughs> you might be like, what the heck is that? You can use it for many things, but I use it to put on a utensil. That way it's easier to hold and reach it to my face. And then you might be also wondering why I also have a plastic fork with me because since I got surgery, it's very hard to eat finger foods. So I need a fork to eat like finger foods, which is so annoying, but it is what it is. Bring this just in case if there's not a fork wherever I'm going. Also going along with that same theme, I also bring a reusable straw because a lot of places don't have straws anymore, which really stinks because a lot of people with disabilities do need straws. There's been so many times where I've gone out to a restaurant and they're like, oh, sorry, we don't have straws anymore. And I'm like, oh crap, so someone has to help me. So then I was like, okay, gotta bring a reusable straw. It sounds great because it has a little like clip at the end so you could just like hook it onto whatever. The last disability item thing that I bring in just like a for the day bag is a button hook because since I got surgery, it is very difficult to have enough strength to button my pants by myself. So I do need my button hook. It also has a zipper thing at the end, but it doesn't work on mine because it's kind of like falling off. So I should probably get another one. But yeah, this is very helpful. Bringing these things um, also is not just helpful to be independent, but it also helps me feel more like secure and comfortable with wherever I'm going. Because a lot of times I get anxious to go out because I'm like, oh my God, like, am I gonna have to ask somebody for help? Which is totally fine. But hopefully I can try to use these things before I have to ask for help. I just want to show you guys some of the things that I bring to make it as easy as possible to be a little bit more independent when I'm going out to hang out with friends or something. I will try to make another video on what to pack and how to be as independent as possible if you're sleeping over somewhere or like going on a vacation or whatever because I pack a lot more things for that. And as always, please leave recommendations down in the comments. Um, if you need help with something or you want tips or tricks or want me to talk about something specific, please leave them in the comments down below. I love making these videos and I love helping you guys. So yeah. That's it for this AMC video. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye guys. I've never gotten that first try. Okay, I'm just realizing that I can take this on and off by myself for the first time. I think because since surgery my hand is like not curved so it doesn't like get caught on it. That's crazy.